Hello, my name is Mr. Michael, and this is a cool math with playing Pyramid. So all you need is your deck of cards. So let's open this up. We'll take all of our cards out. So before we get started, we gotta separate all the kings, queens, jacks, and jokers out. So we'll do that now. So that's a king. Gotta take that out. Put all of our good side, all of our good cards set aside over here, so we know these are good. Another king. Put that over there. We can keep all our aces. So we'll put the aces on the good pile too. Queen goes over here. Jack goes over here. Queen, king. Jack, queen, king, seven can go over here, the ten can go over here, ace, nine, two, jokers, they both go over here, jack goes over here, and the queen goes over here, keep putting the number cards on this side, jack, Alright, so now we have our separated cards. We'll put all of our non using cards of Jack, Queen, King, and Joker over by our cardboard box for our card deck. So before we get started, we're going to shuffle our cards a little bit, make sure they're all nice and mixed up. Just like this. We're going to just lay it on the table, split into a couple stacks, just move them around a little bit, get them mixed up good. them a little bit. One more quick shuffle. And time to get started. So how to set this up, we put one card at the top. Put two cards below it and the two cards will be sitting on the card halfway like that next we do three cards and we do four cards and then five and we'll do one more row So how we do this is we're going to be counting by tens. So we have to group the cards together by tens. So right now, and you can only take cards that are showing. So I can take this card right here since it's I can see the entire card. But I cannot take this card here, like any of these cards up here yet. So I don't have anything right now that adds up to ten together and the cards that I can see that are showing. So I take cards from my pot I didn't use and just flip it up and see what I got. So I have this nine in the middle and I have this ace. So I can pair them together for ten and put them over in the discard pile. I still have nothing that can be matched up. We can only take two cards. So I have this six and these two twos. That's not 10, you can only use two cards. So I would need a six and a four instead of having these two twos. This over, ace again, nothing. The nine, seven. Okay, so we have a three now, so we can take this seven right here. That'll be 10. And now I can use this card right here since I can see the entire card. I can't use this card yet because I can only see three-fourths of it. And the same with this card right here, I can only see three-fourths of it. And I can take, I have a six and a four. I can take these cards out. Now I can use this card. I cannot use these three cards right there. I have nothing again, so I'll flip another card over. Four. Nothing, I'll do another flip. So if you get a ten, Don Lucky goes over here to the thirty ten. Another 10. So I have, a, I have a 5. So I'll take this 5 off the pile. Put it over here. Put another card over. Got a 4. I have an 8. So I can take 
I'll take this two off right here that I have. Put this over here. And this will let me use this card right here, which is a six. I have a four on top of my pile. I just have to put them together and put them over to this card. And I have two fives up here I can put down, take off. So go back to flipping some cards, because I have nothing right now. So I have an eight now, and I have a two. So I can separate these, put them in this card. I have a seven down here, and I have a three. So that makes ten. And I have this ten right here I can use. Put over there. And back to flipping some cards. Again, another 10. Put over to this card. I have an ace. I can use this 9 that I have right here. Pair them up for 10. Put them to this card. And 3. So I have a 3 and a 7. You can use these to make 10. Come over here. So I have a 4. So I'm going to look for a 6 now that I can use. So I found a six, so I'll pair them up together. Ten. I also have another six here, and I have a four that I drew before. Pair them up. And there's a three, so I can pair these two up now. Seven and three make ten. And I've got eight and two, and that makes ten as well. So I only have one card left, which is an eight, so I'll need a two. So there's my two, the last card. And there you have that's the pyramid game and I'll see you guys next week on cool math.